My hope is built on nothing less Than Jesus' blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest frame But wholly trust in Jesus' name is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. For the most up-to-date information, Christ visit
For the most up-to-date information and announcements, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And check out our website, www.cross-church.org. You will find the links below. Good morning. Welcome to Cross Lutheran's live stream. My name is Xander. We are so glad you could join us today. If this is your first time worshiping with us, please click live on our Facebook page and also sign up for notifications so you know when we go live. We live stream worship every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. If you would like one of our pastors to reach out personally, please call our office at 262-763-6500. Seven zero, and our pastors would be happy to speak and or pray with you. Today is Reformation Sunday, in, prepa in preparation for today's worship. If you wish to take communion with us, please have bread and either wine or grape juice available at the time for the blessing up of the elements. Just a couple of brief announcements. If you would like to print a copy of today's bulletin and hymns, please check out the link in the chat. All Saints Day is Sunday, November 1st. We would like to honor those who have passed to eternal life during worship on November 1st. Please send pictures of your loved ones to Brianna at Brianna a cross-church.org by Thursday, October 29th. Music at Cross will be starting again. Please contact Brian, Fel Brian if you would like to participate in virtual choir or praise band. If you have special music you would like to submit for upcoming worship. Today, our service will be led by our third year confirmation students who are affirming their baptism. Thank you students for sharing and needing us today. Once again, thank you for joining us for worship this morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship at Cross Lutheran Church in Burlington, Wisconsin. I'm Reverend Elizabeth Lee, and I'm one of the pastors here. For those who are visiting for the first time, a special welcome to you. Today is a very special worship service. Today, Chloe, Connor, Evan, Murphy, Ryan, Courtney, Brianna, Macy, Ariel, and Ian will affirm their baptisms. They will take on the responsibilities that their parents and sponsors made for them when they were baptized. They will continue to grow in faith and be disciples of Jesus. And we are so excited to be a part of this celebration with them. They will be leading us today in worship. And we thank them for sharing their gifts, their skills and talents with us not just today on their affirmation of baptism, but in the days, weeks, months, and years ahead as they continue to grow in faith and provide leadership within our congregation. I invite you now to join together in our opening song, Here I Am to Worship. down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that made this heart adore you hope of a life spent with you so here i am to worship say that you're my God. 
so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth he created, all for love's sake became poor. So here I am to worship, I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, and you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me, and I'll calling in this time and place follow me listen to my word follow me think about your life as my disciple every day follow me pray follow me sing follow me rejoice follow me this is the day that the lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it come let us worship god love of god Parent, child, and Holy Spirit be with you now and always, and also with you. Let us pray. God of grace, you have given us minds to know you, hearts to love you, and voices to sing your praise. Fill us with your spirit that we may celebrate your glory and worship you in spirit and truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. The days are surely coming, says the Lord when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant that I made with their ancestors when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, a covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer shall they teach one another or say to each other, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning is the 46th Psalm. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, and though the mountains shake in the depths of the sea, though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be shaken. God shall help it at the break of day. The nations rage and the kingdoms shake. God speaks and the earth melts away. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come now, regard the works of the Lord, what desolations God has brought upon the earth. Behold the one who makes war to cease in all the world, who breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shield with fire. Be still then, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to John, the eighth chapter. 
Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham, and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying, You will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Hi, my name is Ariel Holly, and this is my faith project. Um, the passage I chose is Ezra 10.4, uh, Rise up, take courage, and do it. I chose this passage because I feel like this is something you should live by. Even though things are hard or challenging, you need to have faith in yourself and God that you'll be able to get through things. When something seems like it is going to be difficult, you should do it anyways and push through it because in the end, most times, things work out. Noah had to have faith that God was going to help him. God told him to build an ark to put his family and some animals on so he could be safe while God wiped out the rest of the population. I don't know about you, but I would definitely be scared, and would almost not trust God. Noah had to take the courage, Noah had to have the courage to build the ark and hope that everything would work out and God would keep him safe. That took a tremendous amount of courage and faith. There has been times in my life where I've not wanted to do something or something has been very difficult and I've had to push through it. I do musical theater and at every audition I have to have enough courage to get up on the stage and do it even though it's scary. Having faith in God allows me to have the courage to do difficult things. Good morning. My name is Brianna. Um, so the verse that my project reflects is um, Psalms 34 verses 4 to 5. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never darkened with shame. And so for this project, I had to incorporate scripture and explain it with this faith statement right here. And so... The reason that I chose a psalm was psalms are honestly kind of my favorite and they're often used as words of wisdom and inspiration which are huge parts of faith and so in my project I used flower language and flower meanings to convey um, meanings into faith and this project and so with the sunflower it represents loyalty which you know is very important in being loyal to God and tying into this psalm about how people look to God. And then I have the blue iris right here, which represents faith and hope, which are huge parts of my confirmation journey and this pro in this final project. And um, when people look to God, they are looking up to him, you know, with faith and hope. They have to believe that he is there. That's what faith is. And... Um, Finally, I chose to paint the marigold, which means joy and happiness, which ties back into this psalm uh, talking about radiance. And so usually when I think of radiance, I associate it back to light and joy, which of course is what the marigold means. And all of these things just add up to this final product of my faith project. Hi, I'm Chloe and the verse I chose was John eight twelve. Uh, for my final confirmation project. It's, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I use this verse in my project to represent the light of the world. I show only one bright light in my painting because there's only one Jesus and he is the light of the world. He, we know the world is full of sin and darkness and evil. So when Jesus says he's the light, he is talking about being a symbol of holiness of God. He says that if we follow him, that means we believe in him. And if we follow him, he will be our light in this very dark world that we live in. And he will guide us to safety, safely. We will never be in darkness as long as we are following and believing in Jesus. The light of the the light of life refers to eternal life, which is life free of death. 
I know the only way to have internal life is through Jesus. The verse is special to me because I feel like it says everything I know to believe. If we believe in Jesus and follow him, we will have eternal life with God in heaven. Hi, I'm Connor Brown, and the verse I chose for my final confirmation project is John 3:16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. My project incorporates this verse and the meaning behind the verse. God loves us each so very much, and because of that, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to be born and die on the cross for all of us. He did this because we are all sinners. And the Bible says consequences for sin is death. God made a way for us to go to heaven for eternal, eternal life with him. His way to get through was to get through Jesus. Jesus died in our place so that we could be forgiven. It was only by God's grace that we can have eternal life with him in heaven. All we must do is have faith and believe in that Jesus died for us and ask him to forgive our sins. My project shows this very this verse by having three continuous arrows. The first arrow represents God because he made the he made a a way for us to get into heaven and have eternal life. The second arrow represents Jesus because we have faith in him and we believe in Jesus and because he died for us. Then we can be in heaven and have eternal life with God and Jesus. The third arrow represents eternal life forever. My project is meant to show if infinity or eternal everlasting life, God, Jesus, eternal life. Good morning. My name is Courtney Fitzgerald. The verse my project reflects on is the first Corinthians chapter 16 verse 14 and it reads do everything in love. This is a pretty obvious statement however it can have multiple meanings. During these past three years I have learned a lot about God and about myself and one thing that really stood out to me that not everyone quite understands is that God loves everyone and everything. He created life itself out of love. Do everything in love doesn't just mean that the things you do should spread love and joy, but it also means that when you do something, you should be doing it with the intention to spread love. Love shouldn't be an afterthought or a plan. It should be a mindset and a pure feeling. How amazing would the world be if we did everything in love? What if, instead of thinking about money or fame, we created amazing things and did incredible works just for the pure result of love? Hi, I am Evan Deans and this is my faith statement. My life has always been happy. I enjoy playing sports, hanging out with my friends, and being with my family. But ever since this COVID-19 virus has changed the way that we live, I haven't been as joyful as I was pre-March. Because of this loss of joy, I began to search for things that could bring back some of the joy that had vanished. One of these methods was reading the Bible. We all know that the Bible contains statements and rules that tell you how you should live your life. That is why I thought the Bible would be a great resource. It could show me some statements that could help me find ways to bring back the lost joy. That is exactly what it did. I found this verse that really helped me change my outlook on life during these strange times. The verse is from the book, Matthew chapter six, verse 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This verse has really helped me cope with the new life that we are all living in right now. I have learned to take things day by day. I don't worry about the challenges that are far away. I just focus on the challenges I am facing in the present. This mentality has helped me to do well in online school. Because of reading this verse, I've been able to not stress about school while still getting good grades in all my classes. This verse has helped me 
while I'm doing my driver's education course. I haven't stressed about this class because I've been able to follow my schedule and not worry about things too far into the future. This verse has also helped me during my football season, as I have been going to practice and been doing all the things my coach has asked me to. I compete in games and practices, but when I go to the practice the next day, I work just as hard as I did the day before, win or loss. I give my best effort every practice and game because I'm not worried about my future plans yet. This mindset has also helped me in my social life, talk to my classmates and friends without being worried about stereotypes or anything like that. I talk to the people I enjoy talking to and I'm not worried about my future reputation. Not only has this quote helped me separately with each of these topics, but it has also helped me try to balance them all at once. This verse has really changed my life. Without reading this verse, I can't imagine how stressed I would be right now. This experience that I have gone through is just another example of God, how God's word helps people live happy lives. That is why I believe that God loves me and all people. Thank you. My name is Macy and the verse that went along with my project or that I chose my, to do my project on is 1 John 3.18. It is let us love not in words or speech, but in action and truth. And this is what I decided to do. And then my paper says, the Bible verse I chose for my project really meant something to me and really connects to my life. The Bible verse I used was 1 John 3.18. Let us not love in words and speech, but in action and truth. I've learned that actions speak more than words from an incident re recently, where I thought I had true friends and ended up not being true friends by their actions. I believe God is trying to say that if you are true to yourself in actions versus words, it shows who you are, who you really are as a person versus saying something that you're not. An example that relates to my faith is that you can say you are a Christian, but if you really are and believe in God, then you would live by him and spread his word and your belief in him to others. So good friends will also stay true to you and not only in words, but their actions. Hello, I'm Murphy Diggins and this is my faith statement. Ever since I was little, I always went to church with my parents. After a few years of shaking eggs and drawing in notebooks, the urge to stay home and sleep in or do other things began to take over my mind on Sunday mornings. During these years of showing up to church once every two months, my mental health tore to pieces. Every action I did relied on what my mind wanted me to do. I was trapped by my actions. When OCD started showing up in my life, I would find it hard to do anything but worry. After many mental outbreaks over little things, I decided to go to a therapist. Not to throw any shade towards therapists, but they did exactly what I thought they would do. Talk in a calming voice and give me tips on how to overcome my OCD. But don't get me wrong, the calming voice kind of does something to your mental state. But that's besides the point. My point is that therapy was not working whatsoever. I was stuck in a deep pit of obsession. You know how moms normally give those corny tips to their teenage kids like, yeah, just give it time or walk it off, just pray about it. Yeah, I'm sure most teenagers do. Well, the thing is, sometimes moms can be right somehow. I began praying to God every time I would feel overwhelmed by my thoughts. After some time, another corny mom tip, I began to notice that God gave me the strength to turn the light on and off only four times instead of five. I kept progressing until eventually I only turned the light off once, closed the door all the way instead of at a 45 degree angle, and slept with the comforter facing whatever way I wanted it to face. Even, at, even after this eye-opening ex experience, Sunday morning rolled around the corner and I was still in hibernation slash video game mode. All of this changed one day when my mom came up to me after she came home from church with the news of a confirmation program. With hopes of new experiences, I signed up for the group. After the first time being there, I just realized how cool it was to be in a group like this. Suddenly, I did not care about being the first year eighth grader who knew half as much as a third grader about Christ. As weird as it sounds coming out of my mouth, I went home and immediately told my mom about how much fun I had at church with my small group leader, Annie, and Pastor John. I was sucked into church for the first time in my life. A few Sundays later, I got to accolade for the first time. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this was one of the coolest experiences of my life. I felt so involved in the church and felt a part of something. With the confirmation program, I've always had a break from everything else going on in life. 
and just got time to enjoy Christ with a great group of people. Once Pastor Elizabeth came to Cross, I was worried the confirmation program would change. And I was right, it did change, but for the better. My second year in confirmation was a blast, and I learned more about Christ than I ever had before, and in a fun way. Although my final year of confirmation looks a little different this year, I still enjoy logging on to Zoom every Wednesday to see my new friends. Last year, my sister joined the confirmation program. Sadly, she has to start her second year online, but I'm still excited for her to be in this excellent group. Although the confirmation ceremony is set up like a graduation, it is just the beginning of my journey in finding Christ. Christianity is always with me and will always be in my mind. For example, when I am maxing out my bench press and about to fail, I remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And the weight goes up with no hesitation. As you can see, God will always be there for me and I will always be there for Christianity. I am Murphy Diggins and this has been my faith Morning. statement. My name is Ryan Doomer. This verse my project reflects on is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 states, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. This compares to my project because my project shows all my strengths that God granted me in life. He gave me the characteristics I need to succeed. He gave me the people in my life that support me and are always there for me. These great virtues are all I need in my life to make it a success. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go. Dear friends, we give thanks for the gifts of baptism and for these people, one with us in the body of Christ, who are making public affirmation of their baptism. Sent Chloe Brown, Connor Brown, Evan Deans, Murphy Diggins, Ryan Doomer, Courtney Fitzgerald, Brianna Flock, Macy Grisham Kimball, Ariel Holly and Ian Nye, who desire to make public affirmation of their baptism. Let us pray. Merciful God, we thank you for these young men and women whom you have made your own in water and word and baptism. You have called them to yourself, enlighten them with the gifts of your spirit and nourish them in the community of faith. Uphold them in the promise of baptism and unite the hearts of all from whom you have brought to new birth. We ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. We say the Apostles' Creed is our faith statement during worship. As we affirm our baptism and take on the responsibility of continuing to grow in faith, we invite you to use our words. How would you describe God to a friend? God is our heavenly parent. God created us, our world, and the entire universe. God watches over us from heaven and listens to our prayers. How would you describe Jesus to a friend? 
Jesus is the human embodiment of God. He is the son of God, the aspect of God among us. Jesus came to earth and experienced the human life to make God more familiar with us and so we can know God knows what it's like to be human. Jesus sacrificed himself for the love of the world. How would you describe the Holy Spirit to a friend? The Holy Spirit is the aspect of God within us, the light we can show. She is in all of us and helps us to make good decisions. How would you describe the unity of God to a friend? The Trinity is the different aspects of God. There is only one God, but God has three different aspects. God is the creator among us and within us. All the aspects together are the one God we believe in. What does it mean to be part of the Holy Catholic Church? It means that I am part of the community of people who believe in God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It means doing my best to follow Jesus, teaching to be a faithful disciple. It is trusting that my sins and yours are forgiven. This is my family of God, and I'm proud to tell anyone about it. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. You renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God. I, I renounce them. them. You renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God. I, I renounce, renounce them. them. You renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God. I, I renounce, renounce them. them. You have made public profession of your faith, Ariel. Do you intend to continue in the covenant with God made for you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to guide me. Let us pray. I invite you to lay your hands and ribbons upon Ariel. The ribbons represent those who gather with her in spirit and love. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Ariel the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm her faith, guide her life, empower her in serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce, I renounce. them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I, I renounce, renounce them. them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Brianna, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite you now to put the red ribbons on, representing those who are with you today in spirit, and parents to lay your hands upon her. Sorry, one dropped. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Brianna the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm her faith, guide her life, 
empower her in her serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her to everlasting life. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce, renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce, renounce them. Chloe, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to guide me. Connor, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people? to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do and I ask God to guide me. I invite you now to put the ribbons on their shoulders to symbolize family and friends gathered in spirit and to lay your hands upon them. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Chloe and Connor the gifts of your Holy Spirit, confirm their faith, guide their lives, empower them in their serving, give them patience and suffering, and bring them to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Courtney, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people? To hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper? To proclaim the good news of God in Christ? through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite you now to place the red ribbon symbolizing family and friends gathered with you in spirit on Courtney and lay your hands upon her. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Courtney the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm her faith, guide her life, empower her in her serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I, I renounce them. them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I, I renounce, renounce them. them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I, I renounce them. Evan, you have made public profession of your faith. 
Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite you now to take your red ribbons and place them upon his shoulders as a reminder of family and friends who are gathered with us in spirit. And I invite you to lay your hands upon him. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in heaven the gift of your Holy Spirit. Confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience in suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. 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 I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce. I renounce. I renounce Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce. Ian, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To I live know. among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help me. I invite you to lay the red ribbons representing family and friends on Ian, and then to place your hands upon him. <laughs> Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Ian the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience in suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Macy, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus? and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite you to put the red ribbons representing friends and family gathered in spirit on Macy's shoulders and to lay your hands upon her. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Macy the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm her faith, guide her life, empower her in her serving, give her patience in suffering, and bring her to everlasting life. 
Amen. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I renounce them. Murphy, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people, to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite you to put the red ribbons representing family and friends on Murphy's shoulders and to place your hands on him. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus sake, stir up in Murphy, the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience and suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. I ask you all to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? I renounce, I renounce. Do you renounce the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce, I renounce them. Do you renounce the ways of sin that draw you from God? I, I renounce them. <laughs> Ryan, you have made public profession of your faith. Do you intend to continue in the covenant God made with you in holy baptism? To live among God's faithful people to hear the word of God and share in the Lord's Supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, to serve all people following the example of Jesus and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. I do, I hope God help and guide me. I invite you now to put the red ribbons on his shoulders to symbolize family and friends who gathered in spirit and lay your hands upon him. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O oh God, that through water and the Holy Spirit, you give us new birth, cleanse us from sin, and raise us to eternal life. For Jesus' sake, stir up in Ryan the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirm his faith, guide his life, empower him in his serving, give him patience in suffering, and bring him to everlasting life. Amen. People of God, do you promise to support these sisters and brothers in Christ and pray for them in their life in Christ? We do, and we ask God to help and guide us. Let us rejoice with these sisters and brothers in Christ. We rejoice with you in the life of baptism. Together, we will give thanks and praise to God and proclaim the good news to all the world. As we join together in prayer, we ask you to respond to Lord in your mercy with hear our prayer. Let us pray. Opening our heart to God who is forgiving and courteous, we pray for the world, the church, and all who are in need. God of new life, Help us to spread your message and people to believe in your great power. Use this power to help us in the world and make it better. In your Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of new life, help us to care for and love the earth and all of its creation you've blessed us with. Help us to make less garbage, recycle, upcycle, and make choices that help 
all have clean water and air and care for plants and animals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. God of new life, fill the rivers with your never-ending love and compassion. We pray for those living off a piece of bread and those living off a loaf. Fill the lands with courage and treasures. Be with the leaders of our nations and all nations that they make wise decisions and care for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of new life, please help those who are in need. Help those who are suffering in poverty get back on their feet. Please help those who are suffering from illness get back to full strength. We pray especially for Joey Falsh, Liam Finucan, Mary Ellen Frazier, Tiffany Freewald, Richard Grebel, family and friends of Linda Jones, Rose Kaditz, Jim Kohler, Josh Ken, Barb Cumbier, Carrie LaDuke, Bev Leonard, Howard Vera, Jean Noel, Etta Olson, Bob Remmer, Char Rizzo, Delta Shine, Louise Syme, Addison Smith, Nan Smith, Reverend Alex serving in Nairobi, Kenya, whom we sponsored through ELCA Global Missions, and Salome Mopenzi and Clarice who the children we sponsor through World Vision. Lord, we pray for those needs and celebrations of others named aloud or in our silence of our hearts. We pray also for those suffering with COVID-19 and all those who are caring for them. Lord, we pray for the needs and celebrations of others named aloud now or in the silence of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. God of new life, help us to remember all that you have done for us and lead us in the following generations in your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of new life, thank you for protecting your people, the church. We be with us in this time of physical distancing. Help us to remember that we're still contacted as the body of Christ. Help us grow in faith and share your love, Lord, and your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. God of new life, we trust that you love us and hear us, our prayers. We send those spoken prayers and the prayers in our hearts to you, trusting that you will provide. We ask through this Christ our Lord, Amen. Good morning. Even in the midst of a pandemic, we at Cross continue to look forward to ministry and life together in 2021 and beyond. We look forward with hope and faith. You have been so generous in your continued support in this troubling year, and that generosity comes from faith but it also helps our faith grow. Our faith is bolstered when we see what our gifts can accomplish, even when things seem impossible. Your faithful generosity has sparked the theme for our fall stewardship campaign, renewing our faith through generosity. In the weeks to come, you will hear more about this campaign. You will see videos during worship. You'll receive postcards in the mail. We ask that you pray about how you can help us and be a part of this goal. Thank you. I invite you now to join me at the Lord's table. And so it was on the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, Jesus took the cup, blessed it, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, given and shed for you and all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. 
Lord, remember us in your kingdom and help us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Come for all is now ready. I invite you to take the bread you have at home. Take a piece, distribute it to others, hold it in your hands. This is the body of Christ given for you. I invite you to take your wine or juice, have it in front of you, hold it, know that this is the blood of Christ shed for you. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for these young disciples, these affirmands who have confirmed their faith, who committed to the promises of baptism. Help us to, to remember these promises we have made, to live with you, to partake in your supper, to serve others, to share your love with everyone. Your love has been lived out in us and through us, in this body and blood, bread and wine, sins forgiven, called anew to show your love. We ask you to continue to live in and through our lives. We ask all this in your son's name. Amen. As you go out into the world, Jesus says, follow me. At home with your household, follow me. At school and work, follow me. In everything you do, follow me. And as you do, remember that I am with you always, even to the end of the world. my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence you won't let go. In will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea oh, You are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse My lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you Oh, oh my lighthouse My lighthouse I will trust the promise you will carry me safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. I won't fear what tomorrow brings, with each morning I'll rise and sing. Love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. Far 
before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storm far before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storm far before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storm Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence you won't let go. In the questions your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you, oh, oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise, you will carry me safe to shore. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore. storm far before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storm far before us you're the brightest you will lead us through the storm Save.